I think it's the only move that they could make, right? They didn't do anything at the, at the trade deadline. They, they went out and got Corey Dickerson, which was a nice move, but there's nothing that has impacted that offense. So there's a couple things. You bring in Charlie Manuel. He's, you know, he, he comes out with a different message, but he's a soothing guy. He's going to be a psychologist. He's going to make you feel good. But it also is a message to the organization, to even that staff, to the, the general manager, that we're going to win. We're, we've got to win, and there's some urgency here. And if we don't win, there are going to be some heads that will roll because mm -hmm. I think ownership, when they went out and made that commitment to Bryce Harper and spent the money and went out and got Real Muto, traded for Segura, signed in. McCutcheon, mm -hmm. this isn't about three or four years down the road, and the results, is they're not acceptable. So we're going to make a change. We're going to ruffle, and they, they bring back Charlie Manuel. I mean, that guy should have a statue in Philly, Absolutely. right? Like, yeah, yeah. So how do you think, you know, if I'm the manager there, I'm yeah. the front, I'm like going. Well, and we Looking thought. Looking over your shoulder. Right. <laughs> we thought pitching would be their problem. And, but this, they need, they need to rely on their offense. Well, they're swinging through fastballs. And, I mean, they have the lowest amount of uh, percentage of contact with fastballs in the strike zone. So that's a problem, especially in that ballpark where they're built to score sure. runs. This is a hell of a team. I love the lineup. I love the lineup depth. Yes, the offense has failed them. But Charlie Manuel is one of the most winning managers in franchise history. So he comes in with some cachet. He was simple with their offense. And you got to tell when they had their offense, man, Bobby Abreu, Jimmy Rawlins, these were guys who were perennial all-stars. So this is a little bit of a different group that they have. So when I don't know. His, his injury in that lead us into that. Make, yeah, that, that was a disaster, a right? Yeah. And the irony of that, I think we were all sitting yeah, here on set, is Segura doesn't run out down to first base. It creates. McCutcheon's on first, and then he has to get into a rundown. Right. He has to hustle. He blows mm -hmm. out. It's because Segura doesn't. That when that happened, that changed everything for the Phillies. Because he's a leader in the locker well, room. Well, that's what I was going to say. Change the culture in the clubhouse and the offense. I mean, it's it's been a disaster that leadoff. Yeah, spot. It makes you wonder if there'll be other changes uh, for the Phillies as you touched on. Verdugo, maybe you expect it. Will Smith. We just saw Dustin May on the mound. Tony Gonsolin, another young pitcher. Matt Beatty has uh, come up big. If you go forward with this, uh, which of the Dodger young players, Eric, do you think will be the most effective or have the greatest impact maybe into the postseason? I, I mean, you have to say Will Smith just because he's the catcher and he's going to be out there every day. I mean, there's some other guys on that list that may have huge roles in the postseason. But Will Smith, you know, he's a guy that they, they've always touted. And he's been – he's an unbelievable receiver, can frame with the best of them, throws. You know, the hitting has been good. It hasn't been great, but it's been good. He's gone down. He's worked on some things. The hitting philosophy. Uh, he's hit nine home runs. Yeah. And 70 at-bats. Looks he's comfortable. 26. I mean, well, the thing is, too, is you know, he's got confidence. And so when you have confidence and you're thinking you're that good, I mean, now this game becomes easy. And it looks real easy right now for Will Smith. Yeah, for me, it's Dustin May. I love this kid's stuff, EK. And mm -hmm. he's somebody you can put in the bullpen. Right. And he can be in the fifth, sixth inning and get through the lineup once and shut them down. 94 to 97 with late life and movement. A slider at 90 miles an hour, which is amazing because that's harder than my fastball. And a big breaking ball. But the one thing I like about him is his mound presence. He looks like a 10-year veteran on the mound. <laughs> works at a great tempo. And he, he's not scared to attack the bat, so he's not scared of contact. So I'm a big fan of his, and they could use him in that bullpen. He, he's season. not scared. No, he's, he's not. not. Scared. Like, he don't, he's just like, I'm here, ma. let's go to work. <laughs> I mean, that's serious. That's the way he is. What, are you going to take a wallet out from the, <laughs> the movie again? Uh, what, but the Dodgers, with like you were talking about the, the Domingo Herman or some of the Yankee, but would the Dodgers trust one of these young pitchers in a well, career? They so trust that stuff. Yeah. That, <laughs> but that's why, they're up, that's why he's up there starting now. Okay. That's why he – so Audition. he's got two months right now to get ready. The Dodgers are going to see what is the role that he best fits okay. for our club. You know, look at – you know, Dontrell's talking about the fifth or sixth inning. And, yeah, you can use him there, but you may also use him in that seventh or eighth to bridge to Kenley or, mm -hmm. you know, to compliment Joe Kelly – Joe Kelly has been lights out yep. since May. And, and Velasquez, who the Dodgers didn't get, right, with the, yeah. with the Pirates, they, they, Vasquez, excuse me, they wanted, the Pirates wanted some of those young Well, they Dodgers wanted players. May, they wanted Gavin Lux. And, you know, well, you they, see why. Well, right, and, and, and you know, the Dodgers, the Dodgers have held firm to, to guys like, you know, even going back to Kershaw back in the day. Teams wanted Kershaw. Teams wanted Bellinger. Urias. Teams wanted Seager. Yeah. Urias, I, I mean, and they Verdugo just... another one, yeah. Well, and that, that's the thing. I mean, Andrew Friedman uh, and prior to him, Ned Colletti, I mean, they've done an unbelievable job. They've been, now, they, if I'm going to tout them, they also, that kid in Houston, Gordon Alvarez. Yeah. 
they let him get away. Yeah. They traded him <laughs> for Josh Fields in 2016, oh, wow. right? Yes. You imagine if he imagine, was in the organization, yes. too? Wow. Yeah, and you could let one of those right. guys go. Mm -hmm. I still think Vasquez would be nice to Huge. have him. He'd be and nice, but, man, I, I mean, they're looking pretty darn good right now.